Hello everyone. Welcome to another CZ tutorial. Today I will teach you how to model slack flow in CZ2. So first of all, what is slack flow? Slack flow is a multi-phase flow which is accompanied by liquid and gas flow simultaneously. So uh, it is a two-phase flow and there would be several cases of two-phase flow and slack flow is one of them. So, shaft flow can be uh, seen in the condenser outlet line, boiler blowdown line and other various pipelines uh, as per the critical line list which is of course governed by the uh, process department. And now here is the brief explanation of how slab flow uh, occurs and how the slab force is calculated. So, as the slug portion uh, moves toward the pipe bend and the bend will be experienced a force that will be uh, calculated using this formula. This formula is actually a uh, uh, estimation from the Newton's uh, second law and here, uh, uh, here you can see F is equals to DLF into rho AB square and DLF is the dynamic load factor which is generally taken as the 2 and this formula is only used for the static uh, method and there is another dynamic method but the static method is the most conservative one now uh, the slack uh, the slack force is not uh, fixed throughout the all the time and as the slug just enters the pipe bend uh, the force is actually uh, starts increasing from 0 to rho a v square and then throughout the bend it remains constant and again when is uh, it is uh, just exist uh, exiting from the bend the uh, force also reduced to zero and here is a diagram how force and time diagram and here is an example i just considered a 500 NB scheduled standard pipe and the slug uh, velocity be 20 meter per second and the slug fluid uh, density 850 kg per meter cube and uh, I have also calculated the forces in both the directions individually and as it is as I consider the 90 degree bend the force will be same for the both directions but if you assume any other direction like 45 degree or 60 degree meter bend the forces will be different. Now let's focus on how to model these things on scissor 2. So let's start the scissor <coughs> and I am just uh, modeling a simple demo and if you want to learn how to model pipe elements and provide support this videos so i am i am just using 500 mb schedule standard uh, sa 10c is grade b pipe all are very standard things and the temperature be 120 degree c and 12 kg <coughs> and now let's uh, put anchor to fix the pipe on the both the ends and let us define the bend also so uh, the pipe goes in x direction and uh, just continue the pipe segment on the z direction and let the length be 5 meter <coughs> and our uh, more basic model is complete and now uh, to put the uh, slack forces on the bend we have to check the force and, uh, forces and moments box so just let check the temperature pressure and just click on the forces and moment box and our one direction would be plus x direction and so you can see here one is along the pipe so uh, our force value is 136 triple zero newton and just put the value in the x direction and on the note 20 which is the bend note and another direction 
uh, sorry the bend node will be 20 okay so let me correct the node number and another would be in negative z direction and the forces value would be the same so let us put 126000 and our demo is complete now uh, guys you can see it is really easy to model the slug force you just uh, have to calculate the slug force manually and just start the error checker and I don't think there would be any error so let us click on the edit static case and we have to create a few load cases uh, to uh, get the result and now you can see here are the basic load cases are already been given and let us add a one load cases that is for the slug uh, force and that would be normal sustained plus the slug force that is F1 in that case and the stress type should be occasional and all you can also check out the uh, I mean the occasional load factor let it be put 1.2 for a conservative approach and let let us analyze all the load cases are ready and let us analyze and here comes the result and if you check the sustained and the slug case and the expansion stress values okay let us check the stress summary of all the three cases you can find that in sustained case the stress value is only 19.9 percent but in case of slug force the straight well uh, the stress values just increase rapidly up to the 79.1 percent and you can see how it affects the piping uh, it may fail uh, you if you don't simulate the slug force properly so let us again run the output processor and here just check the occasional now you can see in this band the force value is actually uh, close to 70 percent and for the sustain case uh, there are not at all significant uh, stresses are developed here so that is the reason actually we just generally put the sustain cases stress value uh, about 50 percent because when we start the system uh, there would be some slug effect or the water hammer effects and uh, because of that the stresses value will be increased momentarily so it is a very important practice to keep the uh, sustained stress values uh, uh, below 60 percent okay so uh, now hope you will understand how the slug force affects the pipeline so thank you guys for watching this video